What's up guys, I'm your Real Soto and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some helpful insights into creating your background on Elementor. Now this is gonna be a very informative video, so you definitely wanna stick around. Now if you do end up enjoying this video and you do find it helpful, make sure to squash a like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now let's go ahead and begin. Head over to the Elementor Builder. Now what we need to do here is we're gonna go ahead and just create a section. And I'm going to have it just at one column. And we're going to go ahead and add some text. I'm going to add a heading. And I'm going to go ahead and add a um, description here. And then just a button. Now I'm going to go ahead and just center these real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some spacing here. So go into your layout and then go into height. And we're going to want to adjust our minimum height here and make sure you are so you do have your um, section selected so you can right click it and edit your section here. Or you can even click on this box here to edit your section. And then we're just going to want to adjust our minimum height here. Okay. And I'm going to leave this at uh, this size is fine. 550 is fine around there. That should be good. Okay. Now we just need to go ahead and add our background image here. So make sure you have your section selected, go into style, and then on your normal, which is going to be your background style that you want to add on here. So on your background type, go ahead and click on classic. Now that's the first one we're going to be working with is our, um, our classic background. So what we can do is we can go ahead and add a um, background color. But in this video, we're going to be sticking to just our background image. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this box here and I'm going to select my background image. I'm going to go ahead and use this image here. There we go. And then I'm going to go over some of the positioning the attachments and the repeat and the size here. So the positioning is definitely something really important. So right now, um, our image isn't really looking the best. I kind of want to move it above so you can see more of her body and uh, her, her body seems to be cut off here. So I definitely want to fix that. Um, so my positioning, Instead of having it to default, now I could just do center, center, and I could move it up that way. So it'd be, it'd be center left, or we can do center right, um, top center. We have all these options we can choose from, but I like to always go with custom. So then I can move it exactly where I want it. So right here we have our X positioning. So this is going to be side to side. So we can go ahead and move this um, side to side. For right now, I want to kind of leave it on... Um, I want to leave it on the left side here. Then our positioning is bottom is top to bottom. So now we can see more of her body. So we can move this above here. And you know what? What I can do as well is I can go ahead and and uh, make my box a little bit larger here, so I can just bring it bring down the height, so we can see more of her body. Um, then I'm gonna go back to my style here. And then we have our um, attachment. So we have the option to have it a scroll or a fixed. I always like to have it um, as a fix sometimes just whenever, whenever you, whenever you have it as a fix, you notice that you have that scrolling effect. Um, but that's completely up to you. We'll go over it a bit more here. But I'm just going to position that for right now. You won't be able to notice it that well when we're using an image like this. And then I'm going to set this to no repeat. Now, if we have it at repeat, now what can happen is let's say I move this over all the way down. You notice and now we have a repeat here. It's going to keep repeating. I'm going to go ahead and move it back to where I had it and then I'm going to do no repeat. So now we've set this up to no repeat. Now if you see if we move this down, it won't be repeating anymore. That's looking great. And then we can also set this to auto. And there's cover, which is just going to cover um, basically the entire image. And then we can do contain, which is pretty much just going to fit the entire image in the box. And we have custom. Now custom is pretty much the one that I usually use. It's just to make the entire image completely full. Now I can go ahead and move this, you see here, I can move this to the right here and then or I can move this to the, I can have this at zero. And now as you can tell, we're not gonna have any any white um, spacing on the edges here. Now if I were to go ahead and click update, you will see that my image does fit perfectly right now. And the problem is that it might not be mobile optimized. Um, that's sort of kind of an issue sometimes. So that is something that we will have to fix later on. I'll be going over that in this video as well. 
Okay. So now that we have that set up there, um, let me go over our fixed positioning here. Now we will probably come back to this, but I do want to go over that. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose a different image here. Just so then you can really see the difference between a fixed um, image. So on our attachment, we can set this to fixed. Now, right now, when we try to scroll, you notice that we won't have that scrolling effect. But that is because we don't have any content under. So let me go ahead and just grab some content here. I'm going to sample it. I'll just go ahead and use this one. And I'll remove the, the first image or the first section. So I'll remove this one. It is kind of the same image that we have for that background there. So as you can tell, now we have that scrolling effect whenever it's fixed. And it is a nice scrolling effect that people usually like to have. We go back to the section here. Now we can also set up a um, a background overlay, which is pretty important. But before I do that, I'm gonna make my text here white, and then I'm gonna make my um, description here white. And the button we can change it to maybe a white button um, with a blue a blue color for the text. There we go. Alrighty. So now. I'm going to go to my section here. I'm going to click on edit section and I'm going to scroll down to background overlay. Now this part's pretty interesting. We can go ahead and, and uh, add a background type and then we can add a color. I'm going to the black. And we can even set the opacity on this. So if we set it all the way to one, it will be completely dark. The way I like to usually have it is at about 0 0.3 is fine. We can even do different colors. We can do blue if that was something that we wanted to do. We can do red, depending on your um, website theme that you're going with or the style that you want to go with on your website. But usually we just set it to black here. There we go. Now if I were to go click update, you'll we'll notice that now um, it looks a lot better there. You can see the text. The text is a lot more clear. Okay. Now, the other part that I did want to go over, you can even do a, a gradient here. So we can go ahead and add a gradient to this. Let's say I wanted to do black and blue. Of course, you can change this maybe to red if that's something that you want to do. I know this is a popular color as well. Which of the locations, if you know how to use um, the gradient tool, maybe you used that before. You can kind of switch this up. You can switch up the opacity like we were doing before. Update. There we have it. So this is pretty nice as well. It's something we can do. Now I will be going over the background overlay image here in a bit. Um, but I want to be going over. Let's see. We can also add a gradient. We can add a gradient background to this. That's something that you're able to do. Maybe we can make it red. You can really just customize this however you would want. You can even do a background image. Um, you can add a YouTube video if that's something that you wanted to do. Um, just go ahead and grab the link and paste it in there. And you can go ahead and set that up. And you can even set it up where you want it to start. Now, the other one that I did want to go over here is our slideshow. So our slideshow is pretty cool what we can do with that. So I've seen people, I've seen people do some pretty interesting with, things with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose these images here. Now they are pretty similar, they have a similar background. That's kind of why I'm gonna choose them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my overlay that I have here just by clicking the gradient. Or if you even had it on a color, you can even just click on the uh, box here and you can remove the gradient. As you can tell, they're very similar. Now the positioning probably isn't the best. We can probably um, we can just change the color of our text here. Maybe we here. We can do the same with here. The bun, uh, the bun we can maybe change around. Bun text there. This is just to show you an example. I mean. 
of what you can really do with the background image. I can go ahead and maybe set this to, yeah, I can set this to the right instead. Let's so just, so it is a bit better. Now, of course, usually you would have it on the left and the images on the right, but you can set that up whenever you're creating your images there. But that is something that you're able to do with the slider. Now we can have it set to cover if that's something that we wanted to do here. Um, for some reason, we can't have these a background positioning. We can't have these set to custom. That's just kind of an issue there, but um, I'm gonna probably do top. I can do top center. That will probably be a lot better. There we go. Okay, now that at least works for us, but that's something that you can do with your background images. Um, I would just have them the same same color background. Now, the other thing that I did want to show you guys that is very useful when you are creating um, your um, your backgrounds here is something that I've seen a lot and something that I've done in the past as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove our background image here. And I'm going to go ahead and just add an image, uh, maybe like this. This will work. I'm going to move my text to the left side. I'm going to make my text uh, white. Uh, my button, I can leave it the same color. That's fine. Okay. Then I'm going to add another, another column here just to move it all to the left here. Of course, I could have just added some spacing over here to my column. Um, but I just, I'm just going to add a column, just another column just to make it easier. Alrighty, so if we go ahead and click on our section here, and then we go into background overlay, and then we go ahead and click on this image here, and we go ahead and choose this one, which this one, um, I don't have a background set for this for this image, so this is just a completely transparent image here. Now, right now we can't see it, but that's because our opacity set to zero. But if we set our opacity to um, 100, or sorry, just one, and then we go ahead and remove um, the background here. I'm gonna go ahead and that sets to transparent. So we don't have a background, there we go. And then we have this, let's go ahead and remove um, no repeat, just one image, and our positioning to custom. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Let's go do EM so we can remove it further down. And then I'm gonna move it down. But before I do that, I'm probably gonna adjust the sizing of this. So I'm gonna go into custom. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the size of this. Maybe something like this. That's something that I've seen a lot and something that you can do that I've done in the past as well. There's a little effect that we're able to do here. And of course, you can go ahead and just choose any background image you want, just like how I did earlier. You can go to your background, and maybe I wanted to make this um, green instead. You can pretty much choose any color here that you may fit. You can do a gradient as well. That's something that you wanted to do. I suggest something lighter than this, but it's completely up to you how you wanted to go about doing this. Now, we, what I would want to show you guys is how to make sure this is all mobile responsive here. So I'm just going to go over a traditional um, background background um, that you would usually have. So I'm going to remove this background overlay. And I'm going to set this to the middle. I'm going to set this one to the middle as well. Let me go ahead and um, edit the section here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose an image. I can go ahead and choose it. Now this one will be pretty easy to mobile optimize. So 
even make the text a little bigger if I wanted to. There we go. So if I shrink this now, as you can tell, we do have an issue there. So let's go ahead and click on my section here. And what we can do, what I would honestly do, is that's why I usually don't use a minimum height for my um, backgrounds. So what I'll do is I'll remove the minimum height. And it just depends. And I could do 200 from the top. Oops, let me go ahead and... I don't want it on every single side. So let me go ahead and remove this. Set this back down to zero. And let's do 200 from the top and then 200 from the bottom. And now if we were to adjust this here, notice that it looks great, but as soon as we start to bring this down, we do have that um, spacing here at the bottom. So let's go to tablet view and let's try to fix this. So the first thing I would do is on, on a tablet, well, I probably wouldn't have my um, at the top padding. I probably wouldn't set that to 200. I would set that maybe to, to uh, 150 instead. And at the bottom, I would set it to 150. And then I would go back into my style here. Now we don't have the image selected. You don't see it on here, but um, that is the background image that we're using. Then we just go ahead and set up. Um, this should by default be set up to cover. So what we need to do here is just go ahead and see if we can um, fix the positioning. So you can go ahead and move this around already. But as you can tell, as soon as as soon as I clicked custom, it was already set to zero zero and it pretty much made everything fit into place. But if it's not in place, you can go ahead and just move it around. Um, but I'm going to set these two to zero. This one should have been at zero as well. Perfect. Now, if we were to save this and click update. Notice that our image is in place now. Now if you guys are wondering why that does turn blue whenever that loads is because that is our set background image, but we can easily remove that and maybe make it into a gray. So it goes more with the website whenever it's loading and it doesn't look that bad. There we go. It's not really that as bad. It doesn't pop as much whenever it's loading. And then we can do mobile. Then mobile's already set because we did adjust our tablet view and that does pretty much um, fit into our mobile view. But we can also click custom or you could even go into your advanced settings and adjust the padding on this one. Let's say for mobile, you want to do 50. Uh, sorry, 100. And then we want to go ahead and adjust the text here. Maybe make that, adjust that a little bit smaller there. And it does look like this one can can use an O background overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a background overlay, which is something that I didn't do. I'm going to do it really quick. I'm going to choose black here. It's already set to black. The transparency here, we need to move it. Then we can just adjust our opacity. Let's go back to mobile here. All right, now that's set up perfectly. That's looking really good. Now, we might have some other issues if we're using a different type of image. Let's say we're using this image instead. These are a little bit more tricky um, to do. Right now, it's, I mean, you can position this maybe over here, but as you can tell, it's not set to uh, cover. Even if it was set to cover, it probably wouldn't work out. Um, but we can go ahead and choose maybe an image like this one. And we can set it to, let's see. There we go. And then we can go ahead and adjust this here. Now that works a little better. But if I were to go to my tablet view, okay, that's not bad either. You know, we can even make this text a little smaller. So that's looking pretty good. And that's and this is probably working out because we already adjusted it. Um, but if we hadn't adjusted it, probably but it wouldn't be we're looking the best. But if you did want to move these around, you can. Like I said, sometimes when you have an image like this, maybe you want um, you want you want the face to be viewed. Obviously, we're blocking the face right now, and that doesn't really look the best. But um, how else would you go about even showing the face? I mean, we can maybe um, 
we can bring it up a bit. Um, but as you can tell, we have that spacing there. So it can, it can be tricky, but I think you kind of get the gist of it now that we've adjusted that there. But it actually seems to work and it doesn't look too bad there. So yeah, that, does, that doesn't look too bad and that actually does seem to work. But um, that just depends on your preference there. So, and that, that right there, Go ahead and take this off here. But let's say, for example, I'm gonna just show you guys what I usually do. This is our, our main background image here. Obviously, you can go ahead and add a transparent menu uh, here. I do. I think I do have a video on my channel on how to do that. I have a bunch of header videos on how to add a transparent header above here. That can help you guys out. But if I were to go ahead and set up a hero image, maybe down here. I know sometimes we do that, right? So I, I'll just add one section here and I'll do this fairly quick. Um, I'm just letting you know how I usually set up mine so you can know how you can set up yours. So it's pretty similar to how we just did it right now. Um, so grab your text, grab your headline, your text, your button, whatever. Probably not going to customize the button, but I'm just to, just to show you guys how I usually set those up here. Set these to the middle. I set it to uh, white because that's what we're going to use. Set it to the middle. I want to make this too long here. That's to the middle. Set this to white. I have the background. Go ahead and choose maybe um, background image. I'll use this one here. I'll set a background overlay. I'll set it probably a black background overlay. Not too black. Um, and then I'll go into my background, my section here, I'll go into advanced. And then I usually just set these to 200. The spacing that I always set is 200. Um, that's what, you, what I usually set up for my sections as well. In general, that's how I set up my spacing um, for my individual sections. They're usually from the top, it's 100, and from the bottom, 100. Um, but that is your choice on how you want to go about doing that. That is usually what I do there. So just letting you guys know. Now, if you guys did want to add a video, I know that sometimes you have like two sections. Maybe you'd have to have this one on the right here. We'd probably have to change the image if we're going to add a video. Uh, they say image background. Maybe if you add a video here, let me just set this to the middle. I know that's how most of them are set up here. I usually like to have this on the right here. Um, content to the left. Image to the left here. And then I would obviously change this background image to this one, of course. That's the one that we are already using. And that is just a way of setting it up. But like I said, it's completely up to you of how you're going to go ahead and set those um, set your background images. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did find it helpful. If you guys do have any questions on any of this, just feel free to comment down below. And I'll definitely try to help you guys out. If you guys did enjoy the video, please consider squashing the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.